Hello my little storm crowds and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm doing a different video for you because I'm building in Dreamlight Valley. I don't normally do Dreamlight Valley builds. I started doing a let's play when I first started to play it but I found it really really difficult because it was just a lot of reading and then me like collecting things so I thought it was a bit boring. I think it'd be better as like a stream game. But a few people asked about me doing Dreamlight Valley because I did a desk setup thing where you could see me starting to play Dreamlight Valley and loads of people were saying they wanted me to do a Dreamlight Valley video so I went ahead and did that for you today. I really enjoyed doing this. I hate building in Dreamlight Valley because I hate the constraint of being stuck to that grid and you can't get things central because the amount of grids is different on each item and it's just so frustrating. But I had quite good fun with this. I bought the bakery off the premium shop because it just looks so beautiful and that inspired me to make this little area here. I just fully cleaned up my plaza. I took everything out of it and started again because my valley is always a mess. I started an area up in the forest of Valor that's all like fairy cottagey sort of style. So I wanna go back to that and do something with that and I might film that if you enjoy this. I'm not sure if you will, but if you do, let me know. This is a bit different. A lot of the times I had to stop recording and then start again and stop and start because I'm just searching through the catalog because I don't know the items that well and you buy them and then they're just mixed up. So it's, it's a lot harder than building in The Sims. I can't search for a specific item. And then if you run out of the item, you have to go to Scrooge's to buy it. So I have to stop recording for that, go buy the item, scroll through his catalog to buy it, or I might have to build something, which is even more annoying because I might have not have the stuff. So it's a little bit more difficult to build in Dreamlight Valley for me. I usually go on at least once daily to check out Scrooge's shop. I haven't checked it out today, so I don't know what's in there today. But yeah, like I said, I bought the um, bakery off the premium shop. I like to save my stuff for mainly building items. There's been the odd couple of items like clothing wise that I have bought. A lot of the times it's the wings. I love the wings in this game, like the fairy wings and the like Maleficent wings or whatever they are, the raven wings, they are beautiful. So I made this little area here. I wanted it to be like a place where you could go do your shopping, obviously, because we've got Scrooge's shop there as well as going to sit and eat. So that's why I did the bakery and Chef Remy's just there and some little dining tables around the place. I'm not the best at building in this um, because I also need to make sure that everywhere is accessible so if anything grows there you can go pick it. So I did make sure everything in my valley is accessible and I think I did an okay job. I hate it also when it takes you too long to get around somewhere so I made sure to leave like little pathways as shortcuts. I also like, I had a space where I was like, I really wish I had Mike and Sully's apartments that was in the premium shop, not the one that came with the update, what came with them. There was one in the premium shop a while ago and I was like, oh, I'm so sad I didn't get it. It would fit perfectly in this space. And I ended up doing like a little marketplace. Um, it's like next to here where I've just placed the Mike and Sully's apartment here. That space, I do change this, Mike and Sully's apartment does move but I wish I had the one that was in the premium shop and then it came in this week. So at the end of the video, I go ahead and add that in and remove the little market that I did because the market didn't quite work with the city vibe that I was going for. So I removed the market and added that. I was lucky I had enough premium, like the moonstones because I'd spent a lot of them on previous weeks and I hadn't been saving them because it was stuff that I liked. And then I got lucky and I got 4,000 moonstones on the last um, dream snap. Um, I put a lot of effort into that dream snap. I normally don't. I am somebody that's just like, oh, I'll just do my best and hope for the best. And But I put loads of effort in and I came like 600 and something, which is the best I've ever done. Like I said, I normally don't put effort in. And when it becomes to the outfit ones, I hate the outfit ones because I'm not good at them. I see other people's and I'm like, how? <laughs> I like doing the scenery ones and doing the lighting tricks. I really enjoy doing some of the lighting tricks using the, the spheres, the orbs in the pillars. You can use those to do like little lighting tricks with the camera. And I love doing stuff like that. It was so much fun. It was the first time I did it. So I'm definitely excited to do more in the future that are like that. This week's one I wasn't that excited about. Um, I might go back and change it. I think it's the one with Moana. Or it, it had Moana in the main picture. I didn't read the description, so I might go back and change it. 
So here I used a touch of magic to create this fake water on a rug and I just put loads of rocks and some plants around the edge to sort of make it blend in so it didn't look so harsh on the edge and added these waterfalls down the back of Scrooge's shop. I don't know if I like the waterfalls there, they don't sort of work but I needed to fill in the space and I like the way it looks. I just don't know if it works. Let me know if you think it works or not, I'm just not sure if it fits that city vibe. I know you get like fountains and stuff in cities but because it looks more like a little lake, I'm not sure. I could move this and use the trick somewhere else. So here's where I'm trying to decide what to go here. I was like, do we do a little seating area? And I just was not sure. And I ended up doing that little market stall section within some fences. But like I said, I do end up changing this to Mike and Sully's apartment from the premium shop. And I'm happier with the one from the premium shop than I am the little market place thing. It didn't, it did not fit. I might do this little idea somewhere else where you have little market stalls around. It might work more in the area that I have that is more cottagey style. But like I said, if you want another video that is Dreamlight Valley, let me know and I will make my cottage slash fairy, I don't even know what it is, it's very fairy magical little area. Um, I'm gonna start it again because I just need a refresh on it. And if you want that, I will do a speed builder that also. But this isn't going to be like a constant thing, Sims is still my main thing. But I just wanted to change it up a little bit and like I said, I really enjoyed this for once. Even though I normally this really stresses me out and I give up. This was over a few days, like I said, I'm not good. I've said this before with bigger Sims builds, it takes me weeks because I'll come in and I'll like do stuff for a couple of hours then I'll be like, right, I'm bored, I have to take a break and come back. It's just the way I work. It, it's so annoying. I hate that I work like that. I hate that I can't just sit and finish it. <laughs> it's super annoying. Any tips on how to get around that? Please let me know. I end up changing these flower beds to ones that have more of a darker pink and reds in it. I had to go off camera and make them because these are made on the smithy thing. I can't remember what it's called. The bench. The workbench. Um, I had to make it on there and then bring it in. Also where the hedge is on the side, I'm doing like a little park here. I ended up leaving a hedge part open like so you can get through there because I was like it's going to be so annoying having to walk around and this is what I mean about trying to get through things quick and like fast. I hate having to go all the way around. So I did this little path area going through, used the zen garden, add a little picnic area. I think I used the clock in the centre of that paving area out the front soon. I didn't like it in here, it didn't quite work. So yeah, I place it around here and it's fine getting around it. There's enough space either side. So I'm going to jump into a little walk around. It is sped up because I don't know why it took so long. So you can have a little bit of a look around. So it is down to the left hand side here. And I haven't done anything on the right hand side yet. I'm not sure what to do on that side. But you can see I've got this little dining area down here. And you can get through there. And I've got Chef Remy's and Remy's home. The little bakery across from it with some tables. And I got this little exit here to get up to the Forest of Law nice and easy. And I also left a little gap between um, the park and the Monsters Inc. thing. Uh, there's a tiny little gap you can go through. And here's the part where I'm going to go ahead and change that section with the market and change it into the Monsters Inc. other apartment. One of them's from the Monsters Inc. University and I think one of them's their normal apartment from the original film. I can't remember exactly but they do look different. And I played around with that to get it as I liked it and placed some trees down the side here and made sure that edge of that rug wasn't all harsh again. I had to go over it with loads of plants. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!